in Bahrampur seat in Murshidabad that Adi Chaudhary is contesting. Uh, the CPIM has not given a candidate there, but it is uh, it is RSP which has given a candidate there. So there is also a tussle within the left uh, among its allies, among its constituents, like uh, RSP is one of the left constituent. So RSP and the CPIM, CPIM didn't want to put up a candidate, but RSP did. So <clears throat> while there is an understanding between um, the CPIM and Adit Chaudhary, and CPIM is actually campaigning for Adit Chaudhary in some parts of uh, Bahrampur. Um, it is uh, RSP is contesting, and RSP has put up, put up a good candidate there. So also CPIM has left the other seat to um, the Malda South seat uh, to the Congress candidate Abu Hashem Khan Chaudhary, and um, uh, so that is uh, where the Congress naturally has a has a chance. And if they would have come together, I think it would have been better because it would have strengthened them in certain areas. But there is a debate always going on within CPIM, and it's a, we can understand uh, uh, understand the debate. That is, you know, the CPIM's vote. CPIM is a more uh, organized party, so CPIM's vote is transferring to Congress, and CPIM still has more votes than Congress, though less seats in the Lok Sabha. But uh, CPIM's vote is transferring to Congress, but Congress's vote is not transferring to the CPIM, which is what we also. Uh, kind of, uh, I'm not sure about this, but it, in, in many people, uh, they tell me that, you know, <clears throat> there's a possibility of this happening in Uttar Pradesh as well, that the, the Samajwadi Party's vote will not transfer to uh, Bahujan Samaj Party or BSP, but BSP's vote, because it's a more organized party, will transfer to Samajwadi Party. So something similar was happening here. And so now, and there are other factors on the seat sharing and the number of seats, etc., on which they could not come together. So a three-cornered contest, and in 2016 assembly election, they came together. I'm not saying they did very well, but because the vote was not properly transferred. But, well, there was some, uh, you know, the, the, the supporters, the cadres, were happy about it. In general, they were happy about it, some of them. At least the grassroots level cadres, the young ones, that you know they have come together, so, so there's a new energy, new freshness about it. So they were looking forward to it. So when it didn't happen, there was disappointment, and the three-cornered contest converted to a four-cornered contest. In this in this situation, what may happen is you know now people have I think lost hope that they don't think that CPIM is going to get any seat, or maybe one, or maybe nothing. So. So in that context, people who were planning to vote for CPIM, a small percentage, they may now move towards either Trinamool Congress if they're anti-BJP or they move towards BJP if they're anti-Trinamool Congress. So uh, there could be a bigger polarization, a political polarization, and there could be a bigger communal polarization because Congress and CPIM is not coming together. Because this is a party which is a centrist, these are centrist parties, they are more of a centrist party. And Trinamool and BJP are two extreme parties. So these are more of centrist, uh, centrist in nature. So if they would have been uh, there, you know, the election would have been perhaps, uh, if they would have been together, the polarization perhaps would have been a little less.